it's not your birthday. It's just your day. Okay, Bella. Can you make it go up okay, now? Yeah. Can you make that thing go up? Make it go up. All right, going up. Look at there. Awesome. She knows how to do that. Wow. Okay, go back down. There it goes. That is awesome. Wow. Oh, it's starting to shake. Captain. You can drive it too? You have to have a driver's license? No, you gotta press the button again. You gotta press the button, Bella. I'm gonna back up so you can see this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It spins around? Awesome. Oh my gosh. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Turn around and look at him. <laughs> Come on, you can watch us at home. There you go. All right. Oh, sweetheart. Someone needs to see you? He's videotaping. You gotta go. Oh, we're gonna go for a walk? Okay. Oh, that's a lot of red. That's a lot of. Somebody busted a balloon. Did you bust that balloon? Can you pick up that honey? Can you get the rest of it? <laughs> oh, there she goes. Whoa, there she goes. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Showing how it turns. Showing how it turns. Oh my god. She can't get caught in a tight circle because it will turn with her. Look at that. <laughs> See ya. All right, you're taking off, huh? Okay. Where are you going? Hey. I gotta keep up with you. You can't go that way, you'll get caught in the corner. Talk to really good so that you don't lose your license, huh? <laughs> no, you have, they have to put a wedge on the sidewalk. <laughs> Sweet. Go ahead. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Hi, this is Isabella, and Isabella has uh, osteogenesis, osteogenesis imperfecta, which is a brittle bone disease. Um, she was born with 12 fractures. She has had over 33 to date. Um, she has been life flighted five times, and on her first birthday, she was in a coma for 28 days. Oh, she had a little tough time with delivery, huh? Actually, she was a cesarean. Um, due to the bone disease, she breaks very easily, and 10 of her fractures were in different stages of healing when she was delivered. Wow. She, um, she's got her first wheelchair, and the Hardy Benevolent Fund actually donated the lift for the back of my truck, which was $3,000. So we were wow. a very, very gracious um, donation, and we're very, very grateful to him. That's a great man. had the medicine, yes. but they would not use it. Mm-hmm. And Lori found out that Shriners here would had the medicine and were treating kids with this disease. Oh my God! And she contacted Shriners, mm -hmm. and they talked to her over the phone and set up that they would treat her. And Lori had her husband quit work, and mm -hmm. she called the school and told them she was taking her son out. God bless they her. packed the two vehicles, and whatever they couldn't get, they left in the apartment. Mm -hmm. And they started across the country with a feeding <laughs> machine dripping from the mirror. Oh my God, that's a great story. So did those little Shriner guys in the funny hats teach you how to drive that thing? Yeah, I think Shriners so. Shriners has, has been the only ones that have ever said to us, Bella will show us what she can do. Everybody else has told us she has failure to thrive, mm -hmm. she's going to suffocate in her own Oh my lungs. God. Uh -huh. The and, things that you, you just can't even imagine and the one ever here. Now she's running around the parking lot and <laughs> chasing after her and uh, chasing her brothers and beating a four-year-old. Beating up on other kids. Are you all right? Are you all right? He's beating you up too hard, is he? <laughs> there was a time when she couldn't talk when she got off the ventilator mm -hmm. and they were teaching her to sign and she was extremely fast as far as picking up the signs. 
And as soon as her Did vocal cords, or what was healing in there so she could talk? Just the, yeah, from the tubing. And yeah, sure. When she healed from that, she quit signing and started talking. And she oh wouldn't sign God. no more. <laughs> just wanted to talk, huh? Yep. All right. Well, I'm sure there's got to be uh, some cost involved. Where, if somebody wants to contribute to this cause, what's the best way to get a hold of you? Um, well, I have a phone number. It's 352 206 7008. Okay. Um, there's an uh, email address is the Isabella underscore Hernandez underscore foundation at yahoo.com. And Isabella has an account set up at the Wachovia Bank in Dade City, and it is um, titled Isabella Hernandez Foundation. Okay, that's great. We are in the process of turning her um, foundation into a 5031C, and there is going to be a board of trustees that oversees all of her needs and Excellent. all of the funds donated so that we can manage Isabella's ongoing medical needs. Fantastic. So now inside uh, somebody's eating at this restaurant. Where are we at here? This We're is a at Tropical Breeze restaurant and if they will um, ask when they um, when they pay, if they'll mm -hmm. ask for a coupon, they'll staple the coupon to the to the meal and twenty percent of those um, proceeds will go to Isabel's um, account for the rest of the day. Great. They get some good Cuban food and for yes. a good cause. Yes. Yes, Wayne has right. been with Bella almost from day one. Oh, beautiful. She's a nurse. She's home nurse, and she has been with us since Isabella was just over six months old. What a beautiful She's no longer a nurse. She's part of the family. I'm her second mommy. She calls me mommy. Don't you? She has mommy and the other mommy. Mommy and the other mommy. That's which is you. Oh, yeah, I'm the other mommy. Yeah. <laughs> I asked Gwen today about the other person. She doesn't. <laughs> All right, well, I guess she's bored with this interview, yeah, so she's, she's taking off. Uh, yeah. All right, say well, bye. Say bye. wait bye. Bella picked out the yellow. Girl, say bye. Say bye. Hold this for me. Oh, sweet. All right, well, thank you so much, and God bless you. you. Thank you. Okay.